So it's now time for a brand new abandoned vehicle and it's pretty much near this gas station right here. I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see exactly where it is. It's on the left side in this green sector. We're going to move down. Apparently it's around sort of here-ish. I will give you the exact location in a jiffy. Um, yeah, I think it's just literally just south. South, south, south. Let's go this way. I think it's the right way. I hope. Otherwise, I might get lost. I'm currently driving a drag car. I don't think it's advisable, but there we go. That's the car I was currently driving, so that's that's okay. This is my little beast with drag. You see very quick on the street, but it does struggle dramatically when you want to turn. I think it's actually just here. In the actual... Where is it? Is it over here? Abandoned car nearby. So exactly, it's exactly there. So zoom out. That's where it is. Oh, yes. Look at that. It's actually in a barn. Yeah. <laughs> it's a barn for him. Oh, take it. Look at that beautiful car. It's a Volvo. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing the police will chase us again. 4.5 miles. Are you kidding me? That's quite far. Is this an off-road car? I think it is. It feels like an off-road Volvo. What madness. Can go in any direction. Can I? So can I dive off the edge? I can. Bye-bye. Oh, that cop has been owned. That was quite cool. Oh, no. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> the Volvo has been destroyed. Yeah, this is an off-road off car, I'm pretty sure. Obviously, you can go out and buy the race version or the drift version. It's up to you. It's an abandoned vehicle. You can do whatever you fancy to it. But this is the next car available in the abandoned car update. So the first one was the RX-7. And now we have this. I think this is the P-130 or something like that. The Amazon, I don't know. It's a Volvo. That's all we need to know. Me coming through. Ouch, that hurt a lot. I've not played this Need for Speed for a little while. I haven't found the, uh, the old Need for Speed. Most wanted. A lot of fun. But we're back to payback. We've got a brand new vehicle. We can customise this car as well, which is going to be very exciting. Don't try and take me out with your weird pulse electric thingy. Yeah, you can go any direction you want to. This is uh, basically the first first ever free roam cop. So I can just go straight here if I want to. That's not straight for a tree. Ouch! That's so annoying! Leave me alone! I want to go off-road, but apparently I can't. There's barriers everywhere. Fine. Screw you. Still got 3.7... 3.3 miles left. Uh oh Oh no! Oh! Damn, that rhino was crazy. It was like the worst timing possible. Uh, as, as I was going around the corner, I couldn't edit the direction at all. Screw you, game. Get out of my way. I want this car. Oh. Please let me through. They're trying to box me in. Get out of my way. You really do appreciate the graphics when you go back to an old game. And then come back to this sort of game. It, it is a pretty game. There's no doubt about that. No doubt at all. Don't ram the suspect. That's not very nice, is it? Yes, yeah, go off roads. Bye bye. Oh wow! How quick was that cop going? Damn. Well, see, this is uh, pretty much a stock car. It's not being touched at all. We will add speed to it. I promise that. Oh my god. This police chase has been absolutely mental. Leave me alone. You're not going to shut me down. There's barely any electrics in this car anyway. Let's be honest. That was not one. Just get out of my face. What are you doing? I think they're trying to kill me. Give me a break, man. Jump there. Go for a half jump. Oh! I went straight into a rock as well. Am I boxed in? No, not gonna happen today, my friends. 
I'm going to escape. So we're trying to head back to the airfield. I'm pretty sure we can get there. Oh! Why is this car it's still in one piece? It should be in many, many pieces. Bye bye. We can't continue. This Volvo is too quick. It's kicking my ass. There's the airfield, guys. We are so close. I think they're giving up. Yep, they're giving up. Right, we can't keep up with this guy. This guy is too quick. He's too talented. We're back off. Tempted to almost turn this into a race vehicle, but it could be quite a fun off road vehicle as well, couldn't it? We'll do off road first. And then perhaps change it into a, a racing beast at some point. You can't really change it, you have to buy it again. Escape! Alright, they're gone. Nice. I'm sure you guys can do a lot better. I was a little bit rusty, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, we got away. That's that's what counts. We got a brand new abandoned vehicle. Yes. You got yourself a Volvo Amazon P130, I see. Oh yes. This classic beauty is a real workhorse too. It'll take a beating and keep on ticking. Look at it. Look at that brake response. It's zero. So what, I press the brake and nothing happens? What does that mean? That is scary. Uh, let's go to performance. It's not too bad. But it, can get, it can be maxed out at 399. That is incredible. I want that. Right, let's go for let's go for off road first. We can always come back to it. We can change it. We can do whatever we want. That is nice. Oh, that is that is that is that is pretty. Do I go for like the big hood, the big sort of muscly hood, or I must go for like a stock one? Yeah, that looks perfect. Uh, the grill. I mean, that is. It looks off roady, but I don't like the look of it. I'm sorry. No. I don't like it. Norway Horsey. Look at all these front bumpers. It's madness. Let's go for a bit of... That looks off-road. Yeah. Off-road classic. I love it. Front fender. Let's see. Stock. Wants to be nice and wide. Ooh. Let's go for that. I'm going to go for a bit of that. That's sort of classic look. A little bit. Side skirts. Go for a big side skirt? Yeah. Uh, no. Guessing this rear fender will update it for me. There we go. It looks so nice as you sort of pull the pieces together again. It's just, it just makes it look so good. I'm not a big fan of that, that bit of carbon fiber. No. This could be like almost stock. Almost all stock. Let's go for some nice shiny ones. The trunk. Was, no, I'm not putting a spoiler on this car. The trunk. Look at that. The rear bumper. Open. There's a few. Oh, it looks so nice when it's nice and shiny. Nice shiny look. I, mean, I could go for the ultimate off-road look. I'm, I don't know. I'm not convinced. Really not convinced. The fuser for an off-road car. Nah, not gonna happen. I'm afraid. Might go for a slightly. Scene exhaust. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm going to make a little bit silly. Oh, now the roof is done. That actually does... If I can change the view, how does that look from the front? Um, I don't know. Not sure now. I was almost convinced. Oh, one sec. Look at the back of that. Okay, that I might go for. Yeah. Do I like that? I don't know. I don't know. I've got to remember, this is obviously still an off-road car. So it's got to look a little bit off-roady. Uh, suspension is maxed out. Perfect. Now we have to go... Oh. No, I can't, surely. I can't do that, can I? <laughs> Even though I'm sort of tempted. Wow. Some of these wraps are epic. That's quite nice. Like a sort of rust mobile. We got some of these wraps. What about the red one? The red and black does look quite nice. Of course, the headlights as well. Do I want to tint them? Uh, oh, quite those ones actually. 
Ooh, a little, little shades for them. Keep, keep the lights in the shade. Where the tail lights? Which I definitely haven't done yet. Let's go for some pure stock rear tail lights. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind. Is that different? Nope. Um, spoiler. That's probably the only spoiler I would use, but I don't. I don't like it. It doesn't need a spoiler. It's an off-road car. It doesn't need one. It's just. It's just the rules. We do have some stock rims, which they sort of go, don't they? They, they sort of go, but I just have to go for these crazy off-road wheels. The weld ones. Weld racing. Yep, now the car looks like it's ready for some off-roading. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Looking good. I'm not quite sure about the rear of the car like, in terms of looks, but... Quite like the front, actually. I must admit, I really like the, the chairs inside the car. They look really nice. Don't know why I spoiled that, but I just I saw that. Right, let's go to the tune-up shop of the garage and do some work to this beast. It's it's not too bad in terms of performance, but it needs a bit of work. I'll, potentially, I might max it out at some point. Uh, so we currently have level four parts. So I'm, I'm going to add this turbo. I'm going to add this block. I'm going to add this exhaust. I'm going to add this gearbox. And that will be it. Yeah, that'll be it. So let's roll for a head and an ECU. ECU first. Give me something good. Already, it's gone from, I believe, 166 to 185. This is my first roll. Jump! Great! Level 7, though. That's quite good. That's a good increase. Uh, now let's roll for head. Give me something good. Give me something good. Come on. We've got our first Volvo in the game. We have the very first one. It's finally been added. Finally. Uh, let's now roll for a gearbox, please. Let's try and just tip it over 200. And let's see how it performs after that. Acceleration. Oh, level six. I mean, it's a slight increase, but it's not great. Carbon jump. Stop giving me jump, man. Level six, though. That's an increase. It's not great, but it's an increase. Um, what next? I reckon turbo. Give me a turbo part. But we are officially over 200 now. The Amazon P130. Lovely. Hoping they will add another car in next week. I hope it's like a weekly thing now. I wonder if this has been done before. An off-road P130. I'm not sure. It probably has. I imagine. I think, this, I think this car might have potential though. This could be my off-road car of choice when it's fully upgraded. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed If you guys want to see more of this car, perhaps I can do a drift build or a race build. Some more customization. Let me know. But for now... I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.